Yes, a shocking blow to the credit. The travel hacking world built, ended their partnership with American Airlines, or technically American Airlines ended their partnership with Built. The reason why that is big news, and it really sucked at first when you heard about it, because they are the only partnership in the credit card space that allows you to transfer Built points into American Airlines. And the great thing about American Airlines, being a part of One World and their relationships and other alliances that they have, is they have just really great redemptions that you can utilize American Airlines miles for within their system. So a lot of people in the space, right, pretty bummed when I heard about it, mainly because they are the only, they built was the only, only partner that had access to transfer points into American Airlines, which is a gap in the market. And a lot of people like to fly the partners that are under American Airlines, you know, like Cathay or Japan Airlines or Qatar, right? So those are all now rescinded as of in the next month or two, it will end this summer, but they still do have the partnership with Hyatt. And then literally a day later, Built announces that they are partnering with Alaska Airlines. So out with one partnership, in with a new one, Alaska Airlines. And the one good thing about that as well is they also put into their terms that if you have the Alaska Airlines Visa Signature Card, if you use that within your Built app to pay rent, because the Built card is the only card that actually gives you points by paying rent, they're gonna give you three times points on paying your rent if you connect your Visa Signature Card to it. So that's really interesting, really cool advantage with that Alaska Airlines partnership that stands out. Although I do see within the terms that there could be a 3% processing fee, a transaction fee, kind of how you typically would get. So that is something to think about if you have the Visa Signature Card or you plan on getting that for it. For $1,000, that's around like 30 bucks extra a month. But that is interesting. Now, what I wanna talk about with this though, initially when American Airlines was put to the side and it ended, I was a little distraught as I'm sure a lot of people would be because my plan literally was to stack more bill points and utilize them within the American Airlines system. Now, why I think it's actually not that bad of a change is, you know, if they didn't get the Alaska Airlines partnership, it would be pretty daunting. I think a lot of people would start moving away from going to Bill, even though they do have the Hyatt partnership, which is really awesome. But I think a lot of people went in there initially, got the Bill card, utilized Bill, and their team and their partners was that American Airlines partnership. But the cool thing about Alaska Airlines, they are also a part of the One World Alliance. So the change is really not that different. Now, most people utilize American Airlines because of their system and their award chart and their partners within there. People use it all the time, it's just easier. Now, Alaska Airlines, the only other partner that transfers into Alaska is Marriott Bonvoy, which I doubt many Marriott members are transferring those points into there. But Alaska has been known for a very long time to have some really good redemptions, and they are literally the same as American Airlines. So you, in terms of actually finding value, you can pretty much still book Qatar flights, Japan Airlines flights, Cathay Pacific flights under the umbrella of Alaska Airlines. The only difference is, is most people aren't too familiar with utilizing their award chart, but it's pretty much the same way. It's just another partner. So that is really awesome that they pretty much cut the slate with American Airlines, brought in Alaska, who you can still, if you're in the travel hacking space, you can still earn those points those bill points and transfer them into Alaska and essentially get these same types of award redemptions that you'd be looking to get with American. So that is my take. Now, I am still, you know, pretty, pretty hyped about built in general, just because of their award system, the partners that they have. Now, the question would be, is American Airlines going to make a play? Because City, Citibank, they have the co-branded cards for American Airlines and they have never had a direct relationship of transferring points. So one thing to think about is, will American Airlines now create a relationship with Citi or will they do it with Wells Fargo specifically as they have a couple new credit cards going on in their system? Who really knows? But that is something to look out for within the space. Will there be someone that pops up and takes that American Airlines partnership or is able to attain that, I guess we'll find out.
in the rest of 2024. But as always, just wanted to bring my thoughts forward about the partnership, why I think it's really not that bad that American Airlines left because it basically got replaced with Alaska Airlines where you can still do the exact same bookings as you would with American. Only difference is, is essentially, right, not as many people are going to have Alaska Airlines status as American Airlines, which is a benefit for most people as well. But either way, I still think it's a pretty much a one for one change and it's not going to affect anything too much because you can still do those bookings. So as always, hopefully it was valuable. Maybe that explains some things that was up in the air, some questions to really think about and to understand. Drop in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe, but let me know how you feel about the partnership the new partnership with Alaska, them rescinding the partnership with American Airlines. Let me know what your thoughts are, where you think it could be headed, and uh, appreciate you guys, and we'll talk soon.